11. Thanks so much for choosing us tonight. I'm Brian McElhadden. Uh, we're going to talk about the cost of rent tonight. Everything is going up. Everything's increasing, as is the rent. Our Carly Van Cleve talked with a researcher who's helping us break down Fort Wayne's rent prices. Carly. Brian, tonight I talked to John Leckie. He's a data researcher for Rent.com, an organization that tracks rental market trends across the United States. He tells me rent in Fort Wayne is still far below the national average, but wages are as well. Here's a part of our conversation at the News Flash desk. The rent prices in Fort Wayne are, are, are up and up pretty significantly. Um, you know, rent prices sort of the, the the pattern we kind of saw across the nation was uh, as the pandemic hit, you know, sort of demand for rents, uh, for apartments kind of dropped, and uh, prices also sort of remained low for about a year. And then there was a steady rise um, in Fort Wayne. That that rise started uh, about the spring of 2021. It sort of hasn't let up since. Yeah, and do you think there's a, a reason behind that? Well, I think. Um, you know, in general, you know, compared to the national average, Fort Wayne is a pretty cheap city. Um, and what we've seen is that people are sort of flocking to a lot of these um, cheaper cities from more expensive places. Um, you know, our migration data that we have shows that Fort Wayne is in, in the positive in terms of attracting people. Yeah, and, you know, given Fort Wayne has always been kind of known as a cheaper city, we do have a little bit lower rent compared to national, but um, in some of my past research and data has shown that our wages are also a little bit lower. Do you think that has anything to do with it? You know, how do those two things compare to other cities, do you think? Well, I mean, I think wages are certainly lower um, than the national average. I think when I looked it up, uh, it was around $45,000 a year um, and sort of a bit flat for the last kind of two years. Does this have anything to do with, you know, our current inflation uh, prices right now, too, and everything else kind of getting more expensive as well? Well, I mean, rents are a factor in inflation, right? So uh, higher rents are going to lead to higher inflation. Um, but that doesn't mean that you know, landlords aren't using inflation as a reason to charge more rents. Do you see that rent going, continuing to rise in those more expensive areas, or do you see it dropping anytime soon? Well, we, you know, coming into the summer, we had expected by the end of summer um, for rent prices to start to moderate, right? We would certainly have a, a higher base level of rent, but the, the changes year over year would be smaller, right? And part of that was because, you know, you were comparing an elevated market currently to a uh, depressed market sort of in the height of the pandemic. And so that was creating these big um, percent change differences. All right, now let's break down the numbers that were found in the full study Leckie and I talked about. As of August, the average rent for one bedroom in Fort Wayne was $981 a month. That's far below the national average of $1,770. The study says rent across the state, though, went up 47%. In Fort Wayne, prices have gone up for all kinds of apartments, with two-bedroom apartments seeing an average increase of over $100 a month. And if you were wondering where in our city rent was found to be the most expensive, the study showed West Central neighborhood to have the highest monthly payment in the city with one bedrooms averaging $12.60 a month. And you can find this full study and see the numbers for yourself on our website, WPTA21.com. But for now, reporting in studio, I'm Carly Van Cleve. Brian.